and all praise and glory to Yahweh, Baha Son, Yahweh Shah, Baha Son, Yahweh being in the heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be, Baha In, Father, Shah, Name, Yahweh Shah, being able to be done, meaning He delivered, He saved, with Kakradash, Holy Spirit, double honor to the apostles and elders of great mercy, and wealth, peace and blessings unto the elect of Israel, Shalom, and above all. I did it again with the elect of the Spirit of Power, Yahweh, Baha Shah, Shah. Well, one of those videos edifying, man. All right. And I want to get into it, man, through the spirit. You know, basically just, you know, this is a constant reminder in this truth. This is something that you never want to lose sight of. But, um, you know, you don't want to go back to your old ways. You don't want to revert back to your old habits. Okay, you want to put off that old man and put on the new man and be renewed, you know. So just going to get some scriptures on that. I've arrived without his lesson is edifying, man. Okay, this is uh, Philippians chapter 3, and uh, start at verse 13. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High, and my Siaki, I will shine, man. That's right. So we're supposed to forget those things that are behind, man. You know, all the things that we did back in the world, all the ways of the old man of the flesh. Okay. We have to put that off, you know, and uh, reach forth towards the mark, you know, the mark of exemption, salvation, you know, obtaining this truth, obtaining mercy of the Lord, doing what's necessary. You know what I'm saying? Because all the stuff that we left behind us, man, you know, really served us no purpose, okay? And it, and it went against the purpose of the Heavenly Father according to righteousness, man, you know? So now we have to come back and return, okay? And have our mindset fixed on the kingdom, you know? Let's get another one. This is uh, Isaiah 1 and 4. It says, Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, Children that are corruptors, they have provoked the Israel. They are gone back. That's right. So you don't want to be in that spirit where you're backsliding, you're backtracking. Okay? We have to be in that spirit where we're pressing towards the kingdom. We're pressing towards, you know, the ways and the direction that Yahweh Bashamashai wants us to go, man. Okay? We can't get caught up with you know, the ways of the flesh, even though, okay, we're, we're not going to be perfect on this side. We're going to be perfect when we get those new bodies. But, you know, we, we, we have to try our best, right, to rehearse these righteous acts and do what Yahweh Shemesh requires of us, believe in the Lord, fear him, all right, be merciful towards brothers, be charitable, all right, you know. And uh, pretty much day by day, being better than we were yesterday, man, you know, putting on that new man. Okay, rebuilding ourselves up in the spirit, man. You know? Okay, when you came in this truth, all those old ways and things that you used to do, you got to learn to be renewed. Okay? And not go backward. Not, you know, fall away from the way that we're supposed to go. Romans chapter 12, verse 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Bashanashai, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service, man. That's right. So we're supposed to offer up our lives as a living sacrifice, man. Okay? You know? Basically, sacrificing, you know, our old man. Okay? And putting on that new man. All right? It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's right. So we can't be conformed to the ways of this world. We can't be conformed to the ways of the flesh. That old man. We have to be renewed, refreshed in our spirit, in our mind, our thought process, how we move, how we conduct ourselves, the things that we do, the things that we say, the things that we think. All right. We have to all filter that through the scriptures, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah. Okay. It says that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh by Shemeshah. That's right, man. Okay? As scriptures tell us to put on that new man. You know? 
And that new man is really talking about you being new inwardly, you being new in the spirit, okay? Which is going to manifest us getting new bodies, you know? This is, um... Ephesians 4 and 24. Let me start at verse 22. Ephesians 4 and 22. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, meaning your old ways, right? The old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. That's right, man. So we have to put that away. We have to put that off. We have to get rid of that. All right? And and every now and then, it will creep up, man. That old man's going to creep up and see if it can tempt you with the same things, you know, get you with the same things that you want fell victim to when you were in the world, when you were first coming to the truth, like sure say, wisdom took you by crooked ways, you know, when we first came into this truth, man, we still had ways that we had to put off as far as that old man, but as you grow, is the more that that old man gets cast away, okay, it says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, there it goes again, just like it says in Romans the 12th chapter, and that you put on the new man, which is at, which after Yahweh Bashmash is created in righteousness and true holiness, man. That's it, man. Okay? So that's what we need to do. We need to put on that new man. We can't go backwards to our former conversations and our former lusts. Jeremiah 15 and 6, it says, Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord, thou art gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary with repenting. That's right, man. So... Yahweh Bashem El Shai, he's going to stretch forth his hand and destroy a lot of his people because he's weary. He's tired of, you know, being long-suffering with Jake, okay, and repenting him of the evil when Jake is not turning back from their wickedness. Really, you're supposed to turn backward from your wickedness, man. All right? You're not supposed to turn backward from the ways of righteousness. As the scriptures say, let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not, man. Okay? So, the point being what? You know, for those who want to turn back, okay, like you say, no man that put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom. You turn backwards, man, that's destruction for you, man. Especially for dudes who came into this truth and they went back into the ways of the world. Oh, man, you're over with, man. All right? Sirach Ecclesiastes 26, verse 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffereth poverty, and men of understanding that are not set by. And one that returneth from righteousness to sin, the Lord prepares such a one for the sword, man. Okay? All right? That's why it's important for us to put on that new man, because we don't want to be destroyed. Well, here it is. We we step foot into this truth. The Lord has given us the gift of the Holy Spirit. He's given us the gift of these breakdowns, the truth, everything that comes with it. And to go back into the world is really like spitting in the Lord's face, man. All right? You know, to go back in the world is really like, hey, Lord, you know what? I like this better. So what's the reward of all that? Death, man. The Lord's going to stretch out his hand against you and destroy you. Galatians 2 and 18. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. That's right, man. So if you build back up that old man which is supposed to be destroyed, you're making yourself a transgressor, man. All right? And if you're a transgressor, that means that you're being wicked. All right? And, you know... The destruction is going to come upon the wicked. That's the reward of the wicked, man. So it's very imperative. It's very important to not go back into the ways of the old man. All right? Lest you seek to die. Lest you seek to be destroyed by Yahweh Bashem Okay? Galatians 4 and 9. But now after that you have known Yahweh Bashem or rather are known, are known of Yahweh Bashem how turn you again to the weak and beggarly elements we're into you desire again to be in bondage. That's right. And those weak and beggarly elements goes into, you know, the these uh, philosophies and doctrines that we used to be into. But that old man was a philosophy and a doctrine. Because you knew the ways of wickedness. You knew the ways of the world. You knew the ways of the flesh and sin. Right? So now you turning back to that is like you turning back to the weak and beggarly elements. Here it is. Yahweh Bashmash strengthening us up, building us up, you know, pretty much re up, you know, upgrading us, man. All right? To be a new creature. All around the board being upgraded, man. Turned up. But when you want to go back to the ways of the flesh and the ways of the old man, because your flesh is being weak and, you know, it felt good and the deceitful lust and, you know, you were doing this, that, and the third, okay, you start to weigh the world more in your mind as then what, what comes with the truth, 
you're going back to weak and beggarly elements, man. And that's why your house shot told us to watch out for these things, man. All right? This is uh, Sirach, or Sirach, Luke 21 and 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares, man. That's right. The day of the Lord going to come upon you unaware because you weren't paying attention to the signs of the times. You weren't watching. That's why it says in Sirach 2 and 14, woe unto you that have lost patience. All right, because in this truth, putting on that new man takes patience, man. It takes discipline. It takes faith. All right? It takes the fear of the Lord. But if you lose that patience, okay, you want to fall out this truth because you don't want to wait on the Lord anymore. You don't want to live a disciplined lifestyle. All right? And you want to go back into the world and live willy-nilly. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? That's right. That day is going to come upon you unawares. What you going to do when your house shot pulls up to you, man? You're going to be destroyed. That's what's going to happen. That's why your house shot spoke about the individual who got uh, the seed among the thorns, man. Matthew 13 and 22. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful and what does the lord say about every unfruitful tree it's going to be hewn down and cast into the fire man so you don't want to become unfruitful man lest you be destroyed man okay that's why it's very important to understand that look we pretty much are on the right hand side sold out to yabash Shai. so if we stop doing these rituals i'm spiritually metaphorically Speaking, I'm making an analogy. Just like how people sell out on the left-hand side, they do rituals, they do sacrifices, right? If we stop doing what we're supposed to do because we sold out on the right-hand side, guess what? The Lord going to kill us, man. Same way on the left-hand side. Those people who sell out, then they want to be a whistleblower, they want to expose that wickedness, okay? They get destroyed by the left-hand side, right? Same thing on the right-hand side. We sold out, okay, but for a greater reward. And really, you know, selling out isn't the right word because... It's not like we're, you know, we're losing the things we could have gained in the flesh, but really that was a loss any goddamn way. And that's why Yahweh Shai said, he that loses his life shall keep it, all right? But he that keepeth his life shall lose it, man. So you got to be willing to give up everything, gain, lasting. If you want to hold on to this weak-ass world and the flesh because it's pleasing, you want to live like an Epicurean and not like a righteous Stoic, you're going to be destroyed. An Epicurean is a person who chases pleasure, man. But a Stoic is the one who lives a disciplined lifestyle. And that's what Yahweh Bashem Shah requires of us, man. All right? Disciple meaning discipline, man. So we got to try to the Lord's path to discipline, man. In this truth, you're going to have to deny yourself. You're going to have to be temperate, have, you know, have some self-control. Okay? You know? And your flesh is going to be uncomfortable at times, man, because... Your flesh wants to go left, but your spirit is telling you go right. You got to follow that, even if your flesh might feel uncomfortable, man. You know? But a lot of people, they're too caught up in the feelings of the flesh. That's why they're going to feel the destruction of the flesh when that judgment comes. But for the righteous who, you know, suffered in the flesh, is going to obtain that uh, salvation in the spirit, man. First Peter 1 and 14, as obedient children, not fashioning. See, we got to be obedient. That's that discipline. It says, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, man. Right. Can't go back and build up that old man. Because then you're going to make yourself a transgressor. Okay? Let me start at verse 13. First Peter 4, 1 and 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is brought, that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's why we got to gird up the loins of our mind, man. We got to uh, man up in this thing, man, you know, okay, and lock in through the spirit, man, okay? And we have to hope for the salvation that's coming. We can't get caught up in the cares of this world. Our mind has to be fixed upon the kingdom. We have to set our affections on things above, man, okay? It says, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. That's right, man. Okay? That's right. So, the point being, 
we have to be like Yahweh Shai. We have to be like Yahweh Bashmel Shai. The Lord is holy. We have to be holy, man. And how are we holy? In our conduct, man. You know, by putting on that new man and not getting subject to the ways of the flesh and that old man. All right? So, you know, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakadash, the honesty, the apostle, the elders, the most, and everyone. Peace and blessings like the Israel Shalom and the Bible.